What up, Breeze? So I've been sitting here. All right. I got to take that front end off of that bike. I got to put it on that bike. I got to take that front end off of that bike and pretty much throw it away because it's trash. I've just been sitting here sipping on my water, procrastinating. Got to go to my sister's in like 40 minutes. And I'm just staring at this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I think the problem is I don't want to film it because I want to film it because it's good content. It's good clean content. Nothing crazy. It's a good old front end swap to make this bike like once I put this front end on that, it's going to be so much nicer. The bike's going to be able to stop. It's going to have better. Uh, it's going to have you know tall clip-ons versus the stock bars. Everything about it's going to get better. The brakes are going to be better. It's just going to be so much nicer, and I just I just got to work up the will to video it. I then literally take the rest of this bike apart too. The whole thing is coming apart and I'm just keeping what parts I need and you know, setting everything else to the side. I'm gonna do it. We're gonna, we're gonna do it, please. So as you can see, I already started. It's pretty simple. We just gotta take the face of this thing off. That's, that's how we're starting this. I can take all these freaking spikes out of this thing. Stupid spikes. Okay, now all the spikies are off. I don't, I guess I just gotta undo the headlight in here. So we gotta pull the front face off so we can, you know, get to everything, the neck and everything. So I gotta pull some of that off. And I think that's all I gotta do. <laughs> okay, so that was a mistake, but we just have to do this one and then that one and then we can just take the whole front off because I can't get to the screws to take the headlight up out of here. So yeah. Yeah, easy enough. I'm just gonna take the horn off um, and this ignition setup off, this throttle line off no, oh, do I like these bars? Hmm. I have to put all that back on. So I have to like remove everything pretty much. And then slide all those controls on these. Okay, so I got this out. I don't I don't need the RAM tubes. Because I don't have the full RAM tubes anyway. These are just basically Basically with that there, this did like this. It came to right here, but there's not the connector piece. And I don't have one for that one either. So we're gonna not worry about that. But this uh, stay is good. And the gauge cluster is good. So I don't know how to keep that. Um, and then this looks pretty good, honestly. Nothing's broke. So we're just gonna rattle can this uh, black and it's already been cut. So it should just fit over that. I think all the screws are appropriate. We have to take the headlight off out of the steel stay. And then it's just three screws. Set this up on the headlight, put the three screws on, then put it all back on the steel stay. Also, before I take apart the front end, that means it's gonna drop down. So that's like the wrong way to do with bike when you're disassembling it. So I'm gonna redo what I'm doing. I'm basically gonna undo all the wiring, get all this burnt wiring harness out, undo all the wires hooked up to this, take the battery out, take the tail off, uh, then take the front end off, which really, I don't know, it's probably the front end on and then drop the motor, then take the front end off. So that way there's nothing but a frame and a back half left on it. It's probably what I'll do, but I don't know, we'll see. All right, so I had to take a small break, like I said. And a small break turned into night, but that's okay. So right now I'm gonna take this tail off, you know, that plastic part and get this out. Well, that's a little better now. <clears throat> took the tail light out, cause that is, I think that's aftermarket LED, blah, blah, blah. And the tail's good. So we'll keep those. Um, and this plastic bottom, we're gonna keep it because it's not even broke yet. See, it's still got the, the bolts and the plastic's not broke right here. Normally this plastic breaks. Like on that one, the plastic broke. You can see zip tie. 
because it broke so it starts sagging and starts pulling on all the wires anyway we're gonna do a camera trick we're gonna take the rest of the tail off ready amazing okay so now we got that off this is this is great this is brembo foot brake right and uh still ready to line to this caliper and stuff what we have with this one is the same thing i think <laughs> yeah it's a brembo right but it's a rubber line but i don't know the foot brake feels really good on this bike so i don't think i'm going to worry about it but i'll keep it for a backup in case this one ever screws up right so then i'll have a whole nother foot brake assembly i can just plop plop all right so now we're gonna i don't know what's going on here he said the motor mounts got put in wrong so we're gonna take hard some of the motor mounts try to get this to come out keep on unplugging stuff try to oop this plug is i think it's burnt i think it's a little burnt anyway try to get everything unplugged and pulled out so i can have it a clean base so here we'll get these wires out ready okay so now it's all cleaned out hey look dorking it dude is this yours a little 15 mil deep <laughs> i'm sure that was in there from who knows how long ago but it was down in here so yeah this motor looks pretty rough with this electric burn all over this back half but i don't know i hope that the innards are good these block offs i might put these on that one um yeah so now we're going to pull the radiator off the front and then drop the motor yeah so this one thing oh, would be nice but problem is, is that the only thing that was holding this into this was uh like plumber's tape so see that it's totally stripped out the threads don't even grab anymore so there's no way to adjust the clutch from the clutch side or at least good enough to really use the bike but this was stripped out in here anyway from what he was telling me so that kind of sucks though so. but i mean i hate one finger because the last one finger i had did the same thing it just goofs up trash pile okay so we took off foot pegs so this is what i'm keeping so far it's looking pretty good lots of goodies um now we just got to get this motor out the rest of the way like i said i was going to do but i said i got distracted with taking everything else off but yeah it's looking pretty bare bone now whenever i get it totally bare boned i'll cap off all the important stuff and then uh goodness gracious the head isn't even bolted down it's not this is the bolts for the head and the head's not bolted down that's great <laughs> i don't know we get the motor cleaned up real good and see what it looks like after it's been washed good Let's see if it looks like it it's gonna be fine and then we'll probably crack some not today but some other time i'll probably crack some of the cases off and take a look in the inside and see if it looks like a real good motor or if it's ruined because some of these i'll just show you if you can see you can kind of see the orange down at the bottom that's rust so it's literally got like rust and debris down in there which is not something you want down there with the valves but oop, I got these gloves that I put on upside down well and then I ripped it so now it's worthless Whatever, grab another one. Anyway, I use these gloves to put over it so I wouldn't get any water down in there. Well, I forgot one. That one's barely in there, so now she's just kind of dangling. Oh, hey, uh, dorking it. Look at this dude. So this is that tire off of that bike, right? Because it sat so long, it uh, the tire's like drier than you'd think. So whenever I did this rolling burnout, it just shredded the tire. Still holds air. I'm still ripping with it, but I thought that was kind of funny. Just look at that thing. <laughs> anyway, now we're gonna drop that bolt and just let the motor fall. It'll be fine. All right, here we go. Got the motor out, boys. And of course, I tipped it over and it dumped out. It had a bunch of water in it, and of course, since this is not covered, it dumped out all the oil on the side too. So that's nice. But yeah, oh well. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna drag this over over there with my 
Jeekser motors. Only this one's staying inside, those are staying outside. Well. And just like that, it's off. Just got a pretty simple little deal there. Wasn't too difficult. It come off real easy, which is good. Let's tighten that down a little bit. Anyway, so now, I'm not gonna do it tonight, but we'll put this up on jack stands using the cage. Take the front stay off, move it out of the way, undo this bolt, and drop this whole front end, or gotta take everything off the controls. Or, oops. Not everything, but a lot of it. And then this front end will just drop down, and we'll just take that whole front end and literally just shove it right back up. The bearings, not bad on this one, and they're not bad on this one. They're just, yeah, they're not bad. They're just a little old, a little dusty. So I'll just throw some new grease on it and call it good. Wasn't too bad, not too much of a chore. I do think I am gonna get the shock out of this. It's a purple shock and the shock hole setup looks good. Past that, the frame's pretty much worthless, swing arm's worthless. I need that chain. I gotta find the master and file it down. Because we're gonna put the gold chain on this along with that sprocket. Where is that sprocket? It's still on the wheel. Is it? Huh, it's not on the wheel. What do I do? Oh, there it is. Gold. Yeah. Anyway, I think we'll I think we'll try to rattle can this real quick. Yeah. I'll do that real quick. Yeah, JK, I'm gonna paint that on another time. It's not like I'm gonna be able to video it and then you know, it's, it's pointless. Or at least I don't feel like doing that, whatever. Um, okay, so I plan on putting the truck stack on this thing, right? But I also have some bendy pipe and two more stacks right there. So I could do like a triple stack just have to go out the back and then just all three connect and just be this one giant no we don't want to do that but i'm just saying i got options um i was thinking i was thinking i don't know how but run up undo the muffler right and then connect the pipe here and run it all the way out to here and then somehow like past the tire it has to be like out here make a stack but like a short nubby one so it just look like this big round fart cannon coming out the back of this thing i don't know It'd be cool if it backfired and actually shot fire out the back. Because, you know, from this angle, you know, it just looks like a, like a big old rocket. I don't know. Let me grab one. See what I'm saying? Like, something like, something like that. Only not that long, but you get what I'm saying. Something like that. I don't know. That or I'll just run some normal size pipes and run like three or four back there. Do like a Tosh exhaust. Just three or four. I'll have to take it to a welding shop. Well, I'll say that. I'll probably do it myself. Am I kidding? But I'll have to like connect four pipes to one and do a sway of two of them. I don't know. We're going to do something. It's going to be fun. Also, have the, the headers from that bike. So I do have headers. I could also run me another header exhaust, kind of like I did that one. Where is it? Like the bear claw, you know? I could do that again. I ain't gonna do the same thing though, that's gay. I don't know. We'll do something. Exciting stuff, Braze. Alright, Braze, thanks for watching, Braze.